But the, um, the only thing I can think accessorizing this is the monitor. Yeah. Does it come with a monitor? The cage, top handle. Yeah. And then the lens. Um, I'm rocking out um, uh, Nisi, Nisi okay. Athena. Okay. Step in, JP. This okay. is the. Um, this is the. What you call this? Um, the PL uh, Nisi. Yeah. Pretty good for what it is. Um, then you could always, always, um, you could always change your mount or your lens, or however you want. If you want to 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 use Zeiss Super um, Supreme mm -hmm. or Super Speed or Anzino with Coke lenses and stuff. You know, it's all up to you. But yeah. as long as it's a PL mount, you're loaded. You know. Mm -hmm. Have you ever put um? Uh, the light dot follow focus on it. Negative. No. I haven't really tried it, but some other people says um, it works fine. Yeah, because that was like that was one of my biggest concerns that I was talking with Kevin was mm -hmm. that like you know uh, the follow focus. Yeah. You know, a lot of with the cinema lenses, you need a manual follow focus, but I, I know about the DJI light art. Light art. Yes. So I was the like, light art is a lot of people uses it in um, um, Canon. Yeah. Canon R five C with uh, a PL mount, mm -hmm. and then they're converting it into autofocus yeah. Um, lens. Yeah, yeah. As, especially with the kind of documentary that we want to be shooting, um, I definitely want to. I I definitely suggest having a lidar um, as a sure. supplement so that it'll just be easier to follow focus instead of you know having to concentrate. Yeah, the lidar is practically. Yeah. It's like a it's like a beam. Yeah. It shoots your yeah. subject mm -hmm. like a million beams. Yeah. Just making sure your face is effective and yeah. you are completely in autofocus. Mm -hmm. 